What is up, guys? My name's Loverfella, and welcome back to a very special episode of Ark Survival Evolve. Now, this season, as you guys know, is red versus blue. If you're new here, this season is two mega tribes battle. So our tribe is absolutely massive, 151. They have like maybe 200, 300, I don't know. We get wiped every two days, essentially, is what happens. And so we did get wiped again, but we managed to save everything again. I'm going to be on here working with the tribe mates, everyone that's on right now, to build literally a mega defense as quickly as we can. So I'm trying to get them organized quickly. I'm trying to get a bunch of Plan X up right now. And basically, we have to defend this base because the server is closing soon. I mean, it's not like ending, but like everyone's moving to aberration. Um, obviously, you're watching this well into the future. This this is way delayed because I'm, I've gotten surgery and I'm probably unable to record. And so that's kind of what happened. But what I want to do is I want to get Plan X set up all around here. Every single one of these little foundations, Plan X. Every single one of these has Plan X on it, all right? Then I want to get turret towers outside the base, and I want to get every single person on here that we can possibly get. So, I'm working in chat with people. We have one person right now getting metal. We have one person getting pearls, one person uh, getting polymer. And so, we're getting everything we need to get as many turrets as possible. And we're just going to work on having as much stuff as we can all over our base. Like, this is not the best strategy, alright? Putting random plan X's up on these things, because gigas and stuff can walk in and eat them. So it's not perfect, but we're going to add some barriers around it to make it so they can't easily walk up. For example, if we put some fences around this, you can't easily snipe it, but they can still shoot you. Um, it's going to take a little bit more rocket power, etc., etc. Then we're going to have turret towers spread around out there. So that's just one quick side setup right there, just to give you guys an example of what we're going for. And then in here, uh, I believe we have a fertilizer vault which we do right here and i'm basically taking over the plan x placement right now so 71 fertilizer isn't a ton to be honest with you but it's enough that it's going to last us the few days we need it to until everyone moves to the new server so i'm going to run through here real quick place maybe three in each of these and then uh can i like do it from here is that easy okay i guess i can't three of those and then a plan x in each of these crop plots all the way around here so we're going to get that taken care of once it rains it'll fertilize them and they'll grow and uh, I should have just enough to get at least this side finished for now. And then we'll just have to get a dung beetle, um, someone on dung beetle duty as quick as we can and get that taken care of. Maybe we'll use a toilet or something. But um, just remember, these are not good by themselves, all right? These are only good when you have turrets with them. Otherwise, they're too easy to blow up. So that's definitely important. So we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, my voice is going away a little bit because I still have not had surgery. It's three days away from right now. But I'm hanging out with the guys right now, getting our turrets ready. We got one guy making 20 flame turrets. And so I'm going to place these around our base. And these flame turrets are really powerful because they actually knock people off of their dinosaurs. So I think what I'll do is get a grapple hook and pop up. Oh, wait, I might be able to actually... All right, guys, hopping up here. I'm going to get these flame turrets down in all the corners where we have should be good for now and i'm hoping we can get some uh we have enough time for like one more raid basically until aberration comes out so we're gonna try to raid them and have them raid us so i'm gonna be moving real quick i think it faces that way not really sure with this guy oh maybe it doesn't whatever it's so it's so good whatever so we're gonna put in maybe like 10 i'm not really sure how much these use 15 is probably good and then i or bullets 15 maybe it doesn't actually take that much ammo and i don't think you can actually change the range i think it's like one standard range on this Put that at players only and that's going to knock people right off the edge so that is a super powerful turret once they come in with stegos here they're completely off so i think one of these every so often around the outside is going to be really useful for us just put another one right here and so like stegos are going to be nearly impossible to use maybe 20 in that one and again i'm going to change the range get these set up but um anyway i've gotten all the plan x set up uh, around both sides we're getting these set up right here and we're only using minigun turrets on this one. We're not using regular turrets. So minigun turrets are another S plus turret mod, and they shoot advanced sniper rifles. They're doing a lot more damage than regular turrets, and so we're going to try to not use regular turrets. I mean, unless we have them already, then we'll use them, obviously, but for the most part, we're going to be using these weird turrets because nothing we do has worked. They have more people. They're better at this game. They're just destroying us in every way of the game that's possible to say. We're going to do what we can, guys. We're going to get creative. We're going to start using this weird stuff, and then I'm hoping to be on for the next raid because I missed the last one. They raided us with Titan and Nexus and all these people. They were coming to attack me, and unfortunately, I wasn't here for it, and so kind of bummed about that but it, it is what it is guys i had stuff going on for his birthday party can't miss that and so um yeah we're gonna oh, let's see one more uh let's see i want to do one in the middle i want to do one in that corner so let's just go ahead and jump right in the center for this one and get this placed up and i want to get every single guy working i'm trying to get the morale boosted right now trying to get my guys hyped because they're a little bit sad because we've gotten wiped so many times i really don't think it, that's going to take too much more then i've got some basic turrets here some baby turrets I really, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I mean, honestly, why not just put them in here, hide them inside the bushes? It's not like it's going to hurt us, I guess. I mean, we got Plan X coming, which is great. But these, we don't we don't really want these, is the thing. We don't really want to have these basic turrets up. We want to only have those really strong turrets, which we have on the roof. So, 
Oh, it looks like the Plan X have already grown, actually, the ones that I planted. So, um, you can see these all around here. I've got to go through, change all of their targeting ranges to extra high, etc., etc. But it is looking real good right now. So, we're going to get back in there, start uh, working on getting more turrets. So, this video is just a build-up defense as quick as we can kind of day. All right, guys, one other thing is I'm making ballista turrets. I'm going to actually sneak these in the corners of our base on the ground and also on the top. And these shoot ballistas, and they knock people back. So, we've got ballista turrets, flame turrets, minigun turrets. I want them all around the base. Maybe we'll move that one um, or put a railing around it. But now what I got to do is go get a bunch of metal. So maybe I'm going to tank this dude. It says don't use. But uh, it's got, well, only a thousand weight. I'm going to go take a bird with maybe a decent amount of health. Or sorry, a decent amount of weight. These guys got health leveled up. Maybe a little, maybe a little weight in that one. Maybe that's not a, not a good idea. Um, but we need to get metal big time. We're super low on it. And uh, we also have this Quetzal outside right now in the open. This Quetzal is full of all kinds of stuff that we save. So let me see if we have anything here. Uh, metal pieces, etc. 57 S plus glass walls. That's pretty useful to use, actually. We could use those around our base. <clears throat> Alright, guys, turrets up. People getting pearls, people getting electronics, people getting everything. What we need now is metal, so I'm running over here to the canyon with Mr. Nicholas, and we are going to Inglio smash a little bit of metal. We're gonna try to get as much as we can. Man, I got so much phlegm in my throat right now. Dude, I can't wait for my surgery, honestly. I am so pumped right now. Alright, so I think there's a lot of metal over here on top of these little rocks and spines and stuff in here. So we're just going to go in, mash them, and try to get as much metal as possible. Start smelting it, turn that metal into electronics, turn that electronics into turrets. Then once we have a billion amounts of turrets... <laughs> Super long metal run. We got a good amount of metal. I mean, it wasn't really long, but it like it just took a good amount of time. But we got uh, quite a bit of metal. I'm gonna make sure I'm heading the right way real quick. Hopefully, I am. I think so. And uh, we're gonna take this back, smelt it, get ready to make it into turrets and stuff. And all we need is pearls, which are bottlenecking us. <laughs> All right, back inside, guys. I want to show you what we did. We brought the Ankleo in. I whipped him here, and I guess someone actually moved the metal in already. So we have all this metal here, and we have all this metal here. So that's a pretty good metal run there. Unpowered. Why are these unpowered? Do we not have a generator working right now? Is the generator off? Uh, we got to find our generator, figure out what's going on, drink a little bit of water real quick. Um, you see where all the dinos are, like, stashed? Outside? Pile? Yeah. Over here, I'm a, there's a incubator here. It will hatch, and then you just gotta get, be ready oh. to pick it up in one minute. All right. And then you're just gonna follow it. Look, cover. All right. Then you're just gonna follow it and put it over here, and then she'll take care of the rest. Oh. We'll just tell everyone to meet at red since it's pretty close, and then it'll take us 20 seconds to get there, and we'll get. It'll make a big difference for us. So. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, the egg crate again. Uh, which yeah, and the these guys. The AA Probably, forge. I think they take gasoline. Oh, or do we have them to power? They're on electric. They should work. Okay, wait. We have to probably have to turn off the generator and turn it on again. I can't do that. No, Lower you enough to I... do it. It's worked before. Try it. Turn it off. Turn it on. And turn it on again. Mm -mm. No. Okay, switch to gas. Switch back to electric. We got oh. gas, I guess? Yeah, we'll just put some gas in there. It's gonna be. We have a lot. We can just take some of that. Yep, I got it. And then just split it into stacks. Put some in it. Alright, tons of metal <laughs> coming. Now all we need is tons of pearls and electronics, and we'll get the rest of those turrets ready. Yeah. Alright guys, tons of metals coming up right now. I'm gonna go edit this video real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Make sure you guys check out the link in the description to hook up with the best Loverfella merch on the entire planet because you ain't gonna find merch this good anywhere else. You can just go to Amazon.com, type in my name, Loverfella, hook it up there. It's incredible, it's beautiful. Spread the love, guys. This shirt represents the story when a homeless man gave me a quarter and told me to spread the love, guys. I love you. You are incredible. Keep on following your dreams, and I'll see you all tomorrow.